Hey guys, this is Ruby as always, and welcome back to another episode here on the FTB Tech World 2 Let's Play. So guys, last episode we built uh, a little... Um, we built this guy here. This is a turbine from Big Reactors. Uh, now we hooked it up to this guy, and we weren't very impressed, honestly. So I went ahead and... Uh, oh, I forgot some stone down here. Let's get some of this. Let's fill the stone up. I hate having stuff incomplete. There, I, I still can patch all this up. But so we built this guy. We weren't very impressed. We weren't very meh about it. But uh, I worked a bit off camera in a creative world. I jumped to it, but it makes the game super laggy when I come back because I've got so much going on here. Uh, so we're not going to do that. Uh, looks like we need to sleep real quick though. Uh, but we. But I'm going to be referencing the design that I made there. Uh, with the exact size and stuff like that. And I saw that a lot of people did make it to the end of the episode. If you don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> at the end of that 41-minute video last time, I asked myself if I'm talking to myself, like how many people actually made it to the end. Uh, so what I, what I actually figured out uh, after I stopped recording, and by then I'd already started editing, and I was like, yeah, I'm not recording anymore. I've, <laughs> I've done enough like little cuts on the end. So... Uh, is that two high-pressure 3x4x3 three by by three boiler tanks will actually supply enough steam to power uh, that, not this one, but that ridiculous one that we built in the creative world. So I have all the ingredients here to build another uh, high-pressure boiler tank with all that steel we made. Uh, so if we start right here, I pre-crafted everything so we could get into it. And let's see, we're going to need a cover for right here so that these fluid ducts don't talk to each other. I don't think we need to, but I mean, for symmetry's sake. And we'll put a lever here and let's get our wrench. And they'll go in there like that, perfect. And that, whoops. Uh, that probably just got some fuel in it, huh? Oh, we can't even access it yet. All right, and then that's not high pressure tanks. So then pretty much we just need to uh, build this guy all the way up to the roof. Big tank. There we go. There we, oh, we had two extra. Whoops. I made too many. So there is our complete tank that holds 1.1 million steam. 1.1 million steam. So uh, now, it's kind of dark over here. Boop. Boop. All right, there we go. So, next what we need to do is actually make an infinite spring. And we'll replace this with stone. Because I hate having all these conflicting textures. And let's grab some wata. Make me do some of them babies. I need to get rid of those water spring things. Alright, there we go. And there's our infinite spring. And we'll get, and this is to get the water because this is going to take fuel and water. Uh, so, and then we'll connect it like so. And then this guy is going to get the same upgrades that this other one has, which is eight and eight. There we go. Now this guy should start filling up with water. Coolio. It's pretty quick, too. That's like over a bucket a second. I think it's about two buckets a second. Yeah, it's pretty quick. So that takes care of the whole, uh, um, oh, wait, I'm confused. Oh, we're doing this the wrong way. Whoops. Yeah, that's the wrong way. What am I thinking? I did that the complete wrong way. There we go. So this guy will start filling up with fuel. And what I want to do is I want to extend this tank. I mean, these are 4x4 four four or 3x4x3s. Three by four by so we'll just make this one a 3x4x3 three four three as well. So it's all nice and the same. And now this guy is going to start building up uh, steam and heat. Now it's going to take a while. This one took a while to get up to 1,000 Celsius. So uh, it's going to be a little while until that happens. Uh, Oh, that was weird. It was, wasn't like, uh, let's make this, there we go, perfect. All right, and that should be good. So uh, this guy alone, and then now this guy's going to be producing more steam. 
So I talked about not wanting to get rid of that other power source because it generates a good bit of a good bit of power. Uh, but honestly, it's only 1,200, which I mean, you know, then again, it's it's quite a lot. But when you look at this guy, he's producing 12k. Now with these two steam boilers, if I say added a whole nother set of steam turbines, I would only be getting like 2,500 RF a tick. And if we build that turbine, while it's going to cost us a lot, it'll produce us 15k RF a tick instead of like 2,500. What are we going to do with all that power? That's a good question. I don't even know that the answer to that. Uh, I did a couple other things. I uh, re-ran this ME cable. Uh, you may also notice that the bushes are gone. It's just, it didn't really fit in here. I'm going to have to find something else to do with them. Uh, we may go put them out at the farm location, out in those uh, plains. But I went ahead and got rid of it because it was going to interfere with the expansion down here. Uh, because this is only one thick, like that's the floor right there, obviously. So it wasn't going to work out that well. Uh, I rerouted that ME cable since it doesn't have to come over here for any reason anymore. And then before I had it run across this whole thing and then come down and then over and over, it wasn't a very efficient wiring job, so I just ran it straight down here. And it just runs along reactor 2 to that stuff. Uh, I added a rolling machine here for the HSLA steel. Now the thing about a rolling machine, it's not very easy to automate. Uh, we would almost have to have a rolling machine... Uh, per recipe uh, because you actually have to put the pattern in here before it auto crafts it uh, so that's uh, something to keep in mind let's see what else did I change here I know I did some else I've been I've been kinda working for a little while uh, nothing else has really changed here I think that's it it seemed like I did a lot more I guess it's because I dug all this area out, because it obviously wasn't this big. It only went to right here. I think the wall did, or right here. Uh, and I'm going to keep this back here just in case. Uh, I even kept all the water nodes and stuff, but I don't really have a need for it yet. So, But we'll keep it there in case we ever do want to uh, you know, turn this guy back into a passively cooled reactor. And this guy's off right now because we got so much power. And uh, I turned the computer back on, obviously. So the power control is still working, so it's still going to do its script where if it's got under 2 million, it turns the reactor on, and if it's over 9 million, it turns it off. So was that was that it? Did we really do all that in 8 minutes? That's crazy. Alright, so pretty much we got to wait on this guy. Uh, what we can go ahead and do is, um, since we got that other guy going, I want to actually get rid of these guys. So uh, we're going to have to find something else to put here. Oh, well, that's kind of a problem. Hmm. We don't have any power coming over here now if we get rid of them. Um, but we do here, it looks like. Is this power that's coming over here? That is coming from... No, this ain't power here. That's input power. Alright, not a big deal. We can rerun a wire or two. Uh we got to. Let's get over here. Yeah, because it looks like, uh, yeah, we don't have any power coming over here now. Okay, so how do we fix this? Well, let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. Uh, but let's get the power going. Hold on. We need to fix that first and foremost. Do I have, just for the temporary this. I can make a Tesseract. Uh, give me an energy cell. That'll do. Just so that those refineries can get power for right now. And that's already set on orange. So y'all, you guys are good. You're good. Okay, so that'll keep us going for the time being. And let's go ahead and work on getting rid of this stuff. These guys take so long to remove. It's ridiculous. Alright, and now starts the process of getting rid of all these steam ducts. There we go. And we're just going to have to rerun these guys. And the cool thing is this guy's not going to lose heat if he's not outputting steam, so uh, we don't have to worry about that. Unless that's changed. Alright, come on guy, get, get control of your keyboard. <laughs> uh, let's see, we need some stone. Alright. 
Uh, let's fill you in. Perfect. All right. So let's see. Where are we at right now? Uh, eh, eh. Let me see. I'm too fat. I gotta lay off the. I gotta lay off the uh, the junk food. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, get us. We'll make them very symmetrical. So the six. Oh, we got nine. All right. And now the question is, how do we run this in a efficient way? Because let's see, we got to get steam to come up here. Now what we can do is make. Oops. We can make both of these guys. Oh yeah, I forgot. You got to just straight right click on it with an empty hand. We can make both of these guys an input. And we can move them back to right here and right here. And get that glass, fill that back in. Since the input's going to be from back here anyways. So if I dig up right here, where does this bring me? Alright, that's not a good spot. And I think I just broke a lever. Did I? No, we're good. Okay, I think I just broke under one of these. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was right here. So that's where the first input is. Uh, that's not the greatest. Let's let's make some room right here. And what if we come down right here? Where does this bring us? Huh? That's good enough. But uh, I think if we restrict it down to one fluid duct, I don't know how well that's gonna work. We can probably do something identical over here. Because if we come down right here. Look at me, lazy, forgetting to fill something in. It's not exactly the same. So let's see, if we just make it come up right here. And we'll just do some, uh, we'll do some patchwork to make that work. So... Let's see, you come right here. Oh, there's a lever on there. Well, actually, why do I have it like this? I can just do this number here. There we go, and that'll get all those guys going. And we'll fill this back in with stone. All right. So this guy is going to come like so. Oh, what are you connecting to? Are you connecting to something? Oh, no. I just messed up running it. And then you'll come right here, and then you'll come down. Okay. Oops, not right there. So it's very, very identical. And you got probably buttloads of steam in you. Because that, uh... This thing doesn't mess around. Alright, and then I think I can do this number. Now, we could always just keep it like that. But the question is, when all nine of these go down into one, are we still going to be able to get our throughput? What's the energy like on here? Yeah, we're good. Okay, so we definitely don't want that to touch. And just for OCD-ness, we'll get rid of that. So this, these guys will both run down into here. Now, I'm kind of figuring this out as we go, guys, if you can't tell. Because I'm not even sure how this is going to work out, really. Okay, I got I to gotta get rid of this. This is bugging me. There we go. Just get some stone in here. Go. What else are we missing? You, you can get lost. There we go. That's a lot better. That's a lot better. All right. Oh, looks like we're out of stone. Don't worry. How much do we get? We got 1.1 million. 
We could spare some stone. We could spare it. Too bad we can't make a power out of stone. That would be that would be OP. All right. So are we good? I think we're good. I think we got all of the. Uh, we still got a little bit over here. There we go. So this should be good now. And you. Whoops, not my sword. Alright, we're good. Alright, the OCD dance can stop now. So, we got these two guys going. Uh, you're draining a whole lot of fuel, buddy. Hopefully these guys can keep up. Uh, we do need to get some power over here now, though. We need to figure that out. So how are we going to get power from here to there? Let's see. We could just run it all along this ME cable. Alright, and that'll connect there. Okay. Where was that cable? Whoop. Where am I? I got a hole in my base I didn't even realize. Okay. Uh, come. Let's go back up. Eh. Eh. And let's follow this guy down. Is this it? No. Where am I? I'm lost. Alright, let's just go bust a hole where we need it to. So, oh, here I am. Hey. No. No, and this is the one I broke in earlier. So, and if we come straight up here, we need to come over two and then one. Aha. Alright. So, we'll connect these guys like this. Alright, now I need to make you two talk to each other. There we go. Most efficient wiring job ever. And... Fill this all in so we don't get any baddies spawning. Let's try to not trap ourselves. And I don't know what's up with this room. I've never seen this before. I don't know. Maybe you guys will remember better than me. But I don't remember making this room. <laughs> We've got Ghost. We've got... It's, it's Herobrine. That's what it is. Brian's making random holes in my base. Alright, so there we go. Perfect, right? I'm sure you guys are saying otherwise. Alright. Oh, hey, that guy's making steam now, too. Okay, so... We need to bring this guy... I think it's 1440 was the magic number. Yep, that sounds about right. So let's go ahead and let's jump over to the creative world and let's take a look at what we had there. Alright, so here's my two steam boilers. So this thing I think was pretty expensive. That's a lot of endurium. But pretty much I found the right RPM that we could stick it at. Oh, I forgot this thing was way bigger. Alright, so this is... One, two, three... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 by 4, or 5, 15 by 5, oof. So pretty much this thing is going to be 15 wide, that is huge. So that means we got to clear out a whole lot more area because I'm pretty sure that one that we have is only seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Okay, it's 19. Or it's 19. It's 9. Uh, so that means we need to go... It's 9. This would be 10 and 11. 12 and 13. 14 and 15. So we need to go 3 more wide on this room in total. So that means we need our, our good old friend the hammer who needs a good repair. Pretty soon here. This thing makes clearing area so much better. Alright, we'll go ahead and get us going back here. And I think this guy's already the right width. One, two, three, four, five. Is that a whoa oh, Jesus? What was that? I just walked into that wall somehow. Okay, I'm not gonna ask about that. I hear baddies outside. Alright, oh we are we've got one heck of an inventory. Alright, so this is all the area we need for right here. Oh, we still gotta take a little bit off the top. And then we need to go one, two, three. And we just need to follow this guy back. We can't see anything. Oh, jeez, give me my lost gravel all right and there's the edge so now there we go all right and let's go ahead and get this going there's all that gravel from up there and we can get rid of some of this. Like these steam turbines, we don't have any need for them right now. Now let's go ahead and throw everything in there. Whoops. All right, perfect. So this is gonna be our new reactor size, which is gonna be wonderful. Uh, now, the only problem, and why I'm keeping this down here, because I almost feel like I should put this in that second floor, is that this guy could blow up. So, yeah, we're not going to put him near any of our stuff. So, while I think I found uh, the right steam amount and RPM to run him at, to where he can stay at a steady RPM and not uh, go over speed or anything like that, I still don't trust it. I mean, and that's just mainly because even with a new update, the mod, the mod developer could change everything. And he could possibly, um, you know, change the way things are, and that reactor ends up blowing up or something like that. So, while I hope that doesn't happen, oops, uh, always got to prep for the worst. So, so we're, we're going to keep him down here. The most he'll blow up is maybe a steam boiler or two. Uh, I haven't seen how catastrophic the explosions are. For all I know, it's just going to break some stone off the wall. Um, now, maybe something we should also look into is reinforcements. Uh, as in, like, instead of this top flip layer just being stone, maybe we make that uh, some kind of reinforced... Ow! I did it again! I swear, I've never done that before. I'll go ahead and grab this yellow right, because I actually care about it. Thank you. Even though we have like 6,000 ingots in the system, it's ridiculous. Alright, so I think we're good. Oh, we got some weird stuff over here. Red sandstone. I haven't found a use for this. I hate all these random blocks in world gen. Messing up my beautiful walls. Alright, cool. Yeah, I know it's dark in here. Minecraft, chill out. Alright, I think we're good. So... The next step now is to actually turn this guy on and connect him to power. And the best way to do that... Okay, that guy's stuck on something, apparently. Because he's still not done. I hate how that thing doesn't show it's red. Must be a direction bug. Uh, so, what is this guy stuck on? I'm confused. Like, what you doing? We're about to go find out. Where 
Where's the frame? Okay. Hmm. Weird. Okay, so... Is he going now? Oh, you're doing something. Oh. Okay. That was weird. It was just stuck. <laughs> so the next step, we need to do some more wiring. Holy crap, our inventory is already full again. Alright, so... We're going to need some conduits. We're probably going to need some more. We'll go ahead and make some some more on that. And uh, this room, we're going to have to repurpose for something. Maybe we'll make it like another crafting or kind of processing area. So let's see. Where are these guys at? Now, I wonder how I should bring this up from the second floor. Because uh, we can't use that wire that's over here because that's an output. We want this on the input into the uh, energy cell array which I may end up adding more to here eventually so let's just bring it up right yeah oh, there's a couple blocks to uh, to the top there alright so there's that conduit and this will bring oh wait this only does 10,000 RF a tick crap so we actually need we actually need two of these which means for our sake we're just going to do one on each side which one is it this one all right there we go but how do we get it over here? That's a good question. I'm going to cut real fast, guys. I'm going to work on this a little bit. I don't want to bore you all to death. And uh, we'll cut back. And behold, the massive turbine. Whew, this took a while, guys. I had to go quartz mining. Uh, I ended up with like a whole inventory full of quartz because uh, you need quartz for this stuff. And uh, I don't really have a renewable way of getting that right now. Uh, I think we can do something like a laser drill. Or what's it called? Not a laser gun. Is it this guy? And I think this guy can go to the nether. But I'm not sure how that really works. Um, so, I don't know. I'm probably going to look into that. and Maybe we can get quartz from that. I'm not really sure. So, uh, here we have our two conduits coming out. It's going to split the 15k between them. So it'll get 7.5 and 7.5 and thousand. Uh, this guy is sucking a lot of fuel. A lot of fuel. Like, it's ridiculous how much it's taken. And I just hope we don't we don't run out. If it gets to the second one, because it looks like it's going up right now, but I'm going to keep my eye on, it. eye on it. It's at 96 right now. This guy's about almost halfway heated up, so I'm going to keep my eye on it and see. And if this guy starts getting lower, I'm just going to make a bunch of refineries and just kind of speed up the process so uh, those two lines come up here then they come over here I got two covers here so that they don't connect and then they come over here and split into all of these uh, energy cells I was kind of wondering where I put three and then I remembered I want to be able to uh, power all three of them I also changed this because I'm an idiot and I realized this thing puts out 13k I'm losing 3k per reactor so I added another uh, power tap and brought them out. So we got a nice little spider nest of conduits now, uh, which probably isn't the best way to do it, but we can go ahead and turn this guy on. So it's going to take a while to spin this guy up because, uh, yeah, it takes a lot because that's a lot of rotors. I don't know how many that's four, eight, what, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 30. 6 and then 40 so it's 40 blades and a really long shaft and then uh, 8 8 8 so 24 endurium blocks as the coil 
because that's kind of how these turbines work. They need the coil, and endurium is the best to use. Uh, so this guy is going to start real, real, real slow, and it's going to steadily build up speed. And what do you got? 93? Yeah, we might need to make some refineries. What's it take to make a refinery? Refiner. Refinery plus. I wonder if that's, we should make some of those. Okay, so uh, let's take a look. Let's, let's teach this thing how to make refineries. Does this thing know how to make those diamond gears? No, it doesn't. So let's teach it this real quick. And I think it knows how to make this, but whatever. And we'll teach it how to make these. And then these. And so we're at the gold. And now it needs to know how to make these. Perfect. Nope. Second page is filled up. So uh, let me... I don't know. Maybe like... No, oh, whatever. We'll make five more of them. I don't really care. <clears throat> um, so... This will at least help us uh, kind of push the system to hurry up and do everything. Uh, what are you missing? Oh, you don't know how to make a stone gear. I figured it did. What's next? You don't know how to make a wood gear? I'm pretty sure you know how to make that. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. So uh, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I'm going to actually... I'll do a little more off camera so that we can see the turbine uh, fully spun up all the way. Uh, because right now it's only at 600 RPM and it's going to get to about 1800. So, uh, this thing's got a little ways to go, but I'm going to cut, guys. I'm just going to work on this real quick. I'm just going to add some more refineries here uh, so that we can uh, get stuff going. So, uh, I'll just cut real quick and I will see you guys momentarily. It lives! Yes! <laughs> Sorry guys, the game's going to be a little bit laggy. I just reloaded a couple seconds ago uh, to make sure I had my max flow setting right. It freaking... Yeah, sorry, it's going to be a little bit laggy. Uh, so, I had to change a lot. I don't quite remember what all I've changed since last time, but it's been a lot. Uh, we've now got all three of these, plus these two extras per boiler. And this is bringing the amount that we need it to. Uh, so how this works is uh, there's two on this side now, and whew, those frame drops. And then all all of all three of these go all the way down to the second floor or to the bottom floor. Same over here. Uh, these all go down, and then I got two here. Uh, these refineries are kicking butt. This thing was at like this one at nine thousand, or this one at nine thousand, I think. Or I think it was at this one at 9,000, and it's already uh, doubled, and it's working on that one. So once I get this up to, once this one gets to 1,000 Celsius, uh, I'll probably get rid of these other refineries, because it's just kind of a waste of power right now. Uh, or it's, or, well, not right now, but it's going to be a waste of power once I do, because those five refineries can keep up with both of them uh, with the production. I assume, I assume, we'll see. Uh, I also changed this because I totally forgot uh, that I'm probably limiting the quarries, because... These are only putting out 10,000 RF a tick, and those quarries are probably sucking up 20k. So it's only like ever 10k that's getting to this thing. So I put it on top of one of those energy cells right there, and then I've got all three of these connecting to it, and this will send energy. So and then so we still have like 20 or 10k, I guess, going to the base, which is fine because I don't really use anything here uh, that's super super intensive. The only thing that I've ever run really low on power from is this stuff. And that's just because I was processing like thousands of ores at a time and it never got a chance to, to really catch up. Why am I getting so many frame drops? Oh, I'm at my RAM limit. Yeah, I've been I've been playing too long. I've been playing for like four hours. So uh, that's going to be it, guys. I also added three more resonant energy cells here. So we now have 50, 100, 150, 300, 450 million uh, RF in storage. So it's pretty great. Uh, let's go down here. Let's just take one last look. Whew. And you can see we are stuck at RPM, uh, 1,802.8. It's going to settle somewhere around here here soon. Uh, it's just I've kind of got it down. Uh, and we're, of course, uh, got our max flow set lower than what we can actually produce so that um, we can keep up with it. 
and it's it's going to settle around 1799 or 1800 something like that and then it'll pretty much settle there and we'll stay at that rpm but i'm gonna have to keep an eye on it i'll probably end up making another uh computer monitor above the me station for this i'm probably gonna work on that script off camera uh just to finish that up but yeah 15k rf a tick uh we got a true 15k going into our system since we have these two conduits and two power ports but that is gonna be it for today guys Hopefully y'all have enjoyed. I know this is another longer episode for all you guys that like them. And uh, hopefully you made it to the end of this one too. But uh, whew, I really got to restart uh, Feed the Beast. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And I will see you guys next episode.